Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. Remember my CPU that I opened up because it was overheating? Yeah, I broke it while I was doing this and I already replaced that. That's fine for video rendering. And the new CPU was running nice and icy cold at idle. But then 100% then I noticed my thermal margin was getting too hot, which means that maybe it wasn't cooling after all. So maybe I just literally threw away a few hundred pounds by breaking the CPU. Very, very annoying. However, that's fine because it gives me an opportunity to try this out and see if it's all crap, basically. And this is an unboxing of my Hyper 212X Continuous Direct Contact Technology Ooh, from Cooler Master. So I'm going to pull out my water cooling thing just in case it's not good enough and see if this would be a much better, more viable option for me. Because it may well be that just it just takes too long to cool that bad boy down when it hits that Whoa, the size, sorry, just thrown by the absolute mammoth size of this cooler. Look at that. That is a cooler and a half. Look, there's a nice heat spreader plate that goes on the bottom. Brilliant. So I think that's very interesting. That is a superb, superb heat pipe. Gorgeous. Very pretty unit, actually. Big, so you need to make sure you've got enough room in your case. I don't think I'm going to be able to shut the lid on my case, but I don't know if it matters. So you've got your various bracket technologies here that will allow it to fit certain various types of motherboard. Look, you've even got a bit of Cooler Master paste and the whole fitting kit. That's kind of quite good value, really. Let's have a look at the manual. Take your transforming plate. Oh, look at that, even locks in. Duke. It's sprung. Groovy. Bolts, pieces, bits and pieces. So it's going to show you how to basically install it from Intel or an AMD. Um, not sure why it's showing you that. So it's basically saying take the fan off because you don't want the fan in the way while you're doing it. Put some squiz on your CPU. Remove the warning label. If you're Intel, you need it in that configuration. Loads of different options. If you're in AMD, you want it in this configuration, basically. And it says you can run it either way, perpendicular or parallel to the heat pipes. It, does, it, do, it doesn't matter. It does not matter one bit. So here it is, it's saying do not, do not peel off the peely stuff, I'm guessing, which is this. Leave it on. So that's some sort of insulator, basically. Don't peel off the insulator and then put some stubby things in. Oh, it's really it's really kind of complicated, but you're basically adapting this bracket using these parts here. And you're basically putting posts in. So these must be threaded indeed. In fact, are they? Craziness. That's going to take some time. You can see what see here basically you're you're modifying the whole thing to just take this bracket. Fine. That's uh, we'll work that out. What else do you need to do? Then you're screwing more hardware onto more hardware onto more hardware. And then finally, you can screw your CPU cooler straight down. So there's a lot of work there, really. And then you pop the fan back on. The second fan is optional. Wowee, second optional fan. Bonkers. So there, if you like your own sort of hacking around with your cooling system, I think this is definitely the product for you because there's a lot of bits and bobs here in it, lots of options. It's going to take some time. I thought it was just going to be a quick swap out, but no such luck for me. So now you can see my CPU running at 100%. I've got eight threads running in Fermark, so that's using up 100% of all of the cores, and it's giving me a 4.6 degrees thermal margin. Whereas before with the other um, cooler, which is this piece of absolute shit, because it's frigging Zalman bullshit, and I'm just going to hold it over so you can see what it is. Um, total bollocks, total bollocks, because I didn't get any thermal overhead. It ran at sort of 82 degrees instantly when you run this test within three seconds, and it was at minus 15. So, and it actually, this one actually still fits in the case. Look at that. Brilliant. I can actually even feel the air blowing off it is actually blowing warm, whereas the air through the radiator of the water cooling system was hardly warm at all. So I'm, I'm frustrated. I'm absolutely frustrated and ecstatic. I'm frustrated because 
I've had so many issues with this bloody machine all the time, and it's clearly down to that fucking water cooler. And I'm elated I've got it working. So what have I had to do now? I, and I've actually destroyed a, a CPU trying to sort of de-lid it in case that was the issue, but the CPU was probably fine all along. And that's like a hundred and... The best price you can get now is £160 for that friggin' CPU. I mean, I don't know if it's dead or not, you know, if it was actually fundamentally damaged now from an overheating issue, or if it could have been recovered. I will never know. So at least that's it now. Now I've got a working machine. I can continue with my life. Please leave a comment down below if you've got this cooler and it's worked for you. If you're that way inclined, click like and subscribe. And as ever, thank you for watching.